Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AVGR. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. If I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Quite the eventful day on this one, not only from the price action point of view, but you look down here at the volume, and well above average volume on this one, so a lot of eyeballs on it moving forward. And overall, it's a relatively interesting setup. Now, this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have traded for a while, but I'm sure if you have traded for a while, you've seen stocks that gap down, but the thing is, after the price gaps down, it just does something like this basically the entire day long just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. But that was not the case here. The price at least was able to go sideways. Now, don't get me wrong, and I really wish I could say <laughs> trading was this easy, but just because there is a big gap down and then the price decided to go sideways does not mean that for sure guaranteed this is the bottom and some sort of massive bounce is happening. My point here is that it's at least a rational thought to have. It's at least a valid thought to have that maybe this is some sort of bottom. Case in point, let's say the, the chart did look something like this, where it's just going down, 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 and I'm sitting here saying, hey, it's looking like this could be the bottom. You'd be totally justified to say, what are you talking about? Based on what? The price is literally just dropping and dropping. But that's not the case here, right? The price has at least started to go sideways. Again, does that mean that it's guaranteed bottom? No, but it's at least a valid thought to have. So if this is the bottom, well then by definition, it needs to stop going down and stop going down being right there at the 28 cent mark, which is where you can see several times today the price did you know, bottom out right around that area. So if this is the sort, any sort of bottom, then you know, but just by definition, 28 cents has got to hold because if it doesn't hold, well, that means that the price is putting in new lows, which is the exact opposite of a bottom, right? So 28 cents, key level of support. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, meaning if there is going to be any sort of attempted movement back to the upside, in my opinion, that first key break is going to be that resistance tread line right there. And then if the price can get a break up through there, next key level to watch after that would be up around that 30 cent mark. But all in all, very, very interesting setup. I mean, a lot of times these stocks that get beat down like this can you know, create some very interesting bounces to the upside. So we'll see if anything like that happens or not. Uh, but as always, risk management matters uh, a big, big time in stocks like this, but we'll see what happens with it on Thursday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.